This is a step-by-step -step coffee dyeing tutorial with a surprising color twist. Let's jump right in. As usual, we are taking instant coffee. You can take your normal brand or the cheapest you can find. And for the color twist, we add um, food coloring, blue, green, red and yellow. I prepared small glasses with water and a splash of each color. For the paper, I used normal um, copy paper, nothing fancy, 80 gram is fully enough. I prepared the coffee dye, it's half a liter to a liter and two and a half teaspoon to three teaspoon. It depends on how dark you would like to have your paper. For the actual paper dyeing process, I take one sheet at a time and use a thick brush um, to paint the paper with the prepared coffee liquid. Little bubbles, streaks, it doesn't matter because we will crumble the paper anyway. So take a little bit of yellow in the beginning and make some splotches, little bits and pieces wherever you would like to have them and then crumble the paper together. Not too hard, just a little bit. And then from the outside to color it again or pat it again with the coffee liquid and put it to the side to dry. Then use the next paper and the same process again. Painting the paper back and forth and then using a little bit of splotches from the yellow, wherever you would like to have it, how much you would like, how little you would like, doesn't matter. You can see here I took some gloves because I noticed I was coloring my hands. And yep, here again from the outside some cafe dyeing. Let's go to the next color and I'm speeding up my video a little bit so that you don't have to thread through to the real time. So again, like the crumbling and the petting from the outside. Make sure that you are crumbling the paper not too hard because when it is drying, it um, when you unfold it at a later point, it's way harder to do this when it is crumbled together too tightly and you might damage your paper. So let's have a look how the next color looks like. And it's, um, it's the green. So if you would like to have a forest one or a garden paper or something like that, it's nice to have the different colors and to be surprised at the end how everything looks like. So, and again, like one sheet after the other, they all will develop their own beauty, their unique coloring, your, their unique textures. And I especially love the last one, the blue. You can see how bright the color is. It's so vibrant. It's nearly a turquoise. That's um, one of my favorite colors of the bunch. And yeah, let's do one more just to have a variety and to see how they all look. Off camera I will do some more to have a choice later, but I think for now that should be enough. These final um, bowls I will put out in the sun to dry later, but what I would like to do now is the normal coffee dyeing of paper. So half of the liquid I'm putting into this old baking trail and then again step by step I'm using paper that I found um, dunk it in 
take my brush, go over it to really soak it. And then you can really take any paper you like. Here I'm using a plastic stencil to put it over in the hope that it will leave a pattern on the, on the paper. You can see here a little bit when I dunk it in that it takes a little bit of the pattern. Here it is a printed sheet. Um, first I wet the underlying sheet and here I have a sheet where I printed one of uh, my favorite poems on a piece of paper and um, yeah this gets dyed as well. An old envelope I got in the mail. I like to make it more vintagey. And here even a large envelope that I can later use as one page, as a large pocket and as a surprise window. Here I have little tags that can get some coloring with um, the coffee. Whatever you can find. So your possibilities are endless. Here, yeah, this is a dictionary page. And, yeah, I leave you without my voice for a while. Enjoy the process of the coloring. It was the leftover to dye some ribbon. So because I don't like the pinkish like other people might like it and that's perfectly fine but it's not my favorite color and so to make them a little bit again more vintagey I decided to take two different 
um, ribbons and just yeah put them also on the sheet to the papers to dry and I found another large one like you can see it's really pink 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 and yeah to dye this with the rest of the coffee and place it on the sheet so that everything can dry yeah <laughs> so you can see it's a little bit messy but with some gloves no problem at all and then here the rest of the coffee dye I put all over so that it can really really soak into the paper and here everything out of the washing line to dry so we had a nice sunny day and so it didn't take long here are my little tags and here are my crumbled balls I find this so exciting to see what comes out of it like it's will it work um, does it look, look nice so will I be able to use it and of course we are always able to use it it's a junk journal so on <laughs> at the end of the day no matter how it looks like we can definitely can make something nice out of it oh I like the bag it's really 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 beautiful wow when you unfold the uh, crumbled balls you need to be really patient and really really careful it's more like um, uh, slightly loosening the little bits and pieces you can see here it's, it nearly feels like a little bit of a puzzle piece because on one hand they are very stiff but on the other hand through the crumbling the papers fragile until it is um, flattened so not to damage the paper you really carefully need to open these loose ends and here you can see like then slowly slowly it is opening up and unfolding that's what I mean when you did this in the first place not to crumble them too tightly because otherwise it gets really difficult and so you can hear I again I like the back side even more like let's have one more that's a blue one and it looks a little bit more intense from the color I can see when it is unfolding here and it has a marbling effect it's yeah it's I I find it stunning different colors I will go and ironing them and then see from there how do they look so let's have a look at the final outcome here the tags and you can see the very very dark edges I like it it's where um, papers overlapped and where there's a high saturation of the coffee dye I really like it and here you can see again on the bottom and on the side the darker spots I find it unique here from the stencils you can see the patterning can might maybe be able to make a card out of it and here again like marble effects and you can see the different color shading depending on how much coffee reached the paper you can see little spots the rough corners here it's really nearly it looks like burnt I don't mind I really enjoy this coloring it is um, it's like it survived somehow an aging process again here pattern from a stencil I put between them here's some streaks a very very dark one that was the top one where I um, put all the coffee on top of it I really like this ledger paper it's light from the inside but it has this beautiful 
structures on the on the outside. It nearly looks like um, uh, flowers. And this is yeah, that's the envelope. You can see the pattern from the um, text from the outside. I can use it um, with the, the little paper. I can might be able to use it as a pocket in the middle. So so many options. And yeah, the closure came off and I can even use the closure. I can take it as a tuck spot either on the side to put something under it or the corner I might take as a corner tuck spot. So, so many options. And then we also have our ribbon. And I really like the outcome. It has something very soft. It has still the pinkish flavor, but in this vintage, more muted color scheme that I find actually now quite beautiful. I'm looking forward to using it. And now to the stars of our show. This is yellow. The left side I ironed and the right side I left more crinkly. And I find they are both beautiful. Left more crinkly um, brings out the edges more strongly. But aren't they stunning? It looks like some organic marbled paper. I really, really like the subtleness of it and I find they are both have something really interesting. So I would like to show you the green one, both colors, the yellow and the green, are a little bit more subtle. And again, the left is ironed and the right is just crumpled and just pressed flat. Here you can see again the beautiful marbled texture with the green accents in it. Yeah, I'm really happy with the outcome of both of them. I hope you can see it in the video. Here with the red, you can see it's way stronger. It has a pinkish flavor to it, but um, I really, I really like it. Again, this one is the ironed one, so you can see the flatter one, and it's like this natural, it's like marble stone. Um, and here's a little bit of the leftover of the green as well inside. Yep. And like before, my favorite ones are the blue ones. I find them breathtakingly beautiful. And again, the left one ironed. Here, the intricate structures. And here, oh, I'm so looking forward to using them in the junk journal. And here is the more rougher version of the paper. I hope you enjoyed yourself watching this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it and that you feel inspired to do your own paper. If you would like to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe, press the notification bell and I hope to see you back soon.